which is best by any and g, in sadness to sigh for the pleasures of youth, or with souls wiser grown taking counsel of truth, while plumbing our wings for flight from our cage to joyfully sing of the pleasures of age. Or not till the day's long toil is done and the gathering shades of night steal on, do the stars look down through yon azure world flying, bright, passionless, calm, like the eyes of the dying. From a feather dream, as the very one wakes, when health the strong fetters of suffering breaks, to the chest and soul seems a new power given, rightly to weigh the worlds, earth and heaven. We say, tis well to launch a bark, that shall plow the white sea, cowled and dark, and breast the current of wind and wave, though its doom may be an ocean grave. But is it not better to furl the sail of a ship that has weathered many a gale, and calmly sit with the port in view, and praise the pilot who steered us through? When our cup of joy to the brim is filled, and the mentor voice within is stilled, e'en then the heart sighs for the rest that remains, for those pleasures which ne'er are embittered by pains. Who questions which best is the conflict strife, the hoarse cry half muttered of life for life, or the rest that follows the battle's roar and the song of peace on either shore? Then would our life seem but a bright, starry gleam, a sweet cup just tasted, a battle, a dream, a sail on an ocean to harbour unknown, faith smiling points upward and hope beacons on.